Good morning, Robert Scribbler with the OBX Wave Report, providing this video for you guys from Jeanette's Pier on the south side. And uh, it is kind of getting small, guys. The swell is rapidly subsiding out there. Did get out there for a early morning session. The waves were a little bigger, a little bit punchier now. Looking like maybe two foot if we're lucky. Um, so uh, definitely getting on the small end. Uh, Oregon Inlet buoy um, now showing 3.3 uh, foot and six seconds, which is definitely um, a subsiding swell with that uh, shorter period there. And you can see it here at the pier and up and down the beaches if you look at the cams. Um, really not much of a swell right now to be had. Uh, yeah, last couple of waves on my most recent session, I'm like <laughs> having to like push up from the bottom of the board, you know, like near the uh, near my front foot to try and uh, get that foot placement because you don't have enough speed on the entry. So, um, you know, when that's happening, that the uh, waves are getting a lot less punchy. Uh, although it looks like this longboarder might catch a little little glidey wave here. Yeah, see, uh, not much push there. Um, even that for a long board. So uh, right now at Nags Head, we're gonna call this um, one to two foot and uh, mostly clean. We've got some swell coming in from the east northeast, shifting toward the south and east right now, um, about 1.8 foot and nine seconds. Uh, winds coming in from the west right now at about eight miles an hour. Air temperatures. 69 degrees ocean water temperature is still cold at 58. We've had that Labrador intrusion uh, close to the U.S. East Coast for most of the winter, which means that the near coastal waters are cooler than normal, despite the fact that most of the Atlantic Ocean is much warmer than normal. So we could be um, um, looking at uh, cooler than normal water temperatures near the beaches this springtime. That's what we're seeing now. But ironically, the rest of the ocean is much warmer than normal which is pretty bizarre and wild but uh likely due to the increased greenland melt uh feeding that labrador current and um providing more cold fresh water up there at the uh, top of the labrador current in the north atlantic um to our south in rodanthe we've got around two foot it's probably smaller by now and semi-clean primary swell out of the east northeast at 1.9 foot and nine seconds southwest winds at 15 air temperatures 70 ocean water temperatures warming up down in rodanthe at 63 and at buxton two foot and semi clean with an east north northeast swell at 2.1 foot and nine seconds southwest winds at 14 air temperatures 66 ocean water temperatures 62 and last of all at frisco around two foot and slightly choppy for today, uh, we did have some uh, two to three foot waves early in the morning. Uh, we're going to call the rest of the day one to two foot and clean to fair with a subsiding swell. Uh, chop um, southwest winds picking up uh, at by afternoon uh, to around 10 to 20 miles an hour. We got a shower or thunderstorm in the forecast for later today. Uh, 30. 40% chance of that depending on who you're looking at as far as your weather providers um, high today in the low 70s for Thursday one to two foot and fair to choppy northeast winds five to ten miles an hour clouds and sun with a high near 70 degrees on Friday one to two foot and clean to fair with west southwest winds at five to ten miles an hour clouds and sun high near 70 degrees on saturday two to four foot and choppy with east southeast winds 12 to 20 miles an hour cloudy with a high near 70 degrees again and last of all on sunday two to four foot and choppy with south southeast winds blowing 10 to 20 miles an hour cloudy with a high near 70 degrees thank you for joining me for this May 1st session of the OBX Wave Report as we stare into the teeth of this subsiding swell. We're not looking at very good surf days ahead, but nonetheless beautiful beach days if you want to get on the beach and enjoy it. Um, 
we do get more of a swell by the weekend time saturday and sunday but unfortunately uh, those waves are likely to be choppy with some easterly and northeasterly winds blowing um, but nonetheless uh, gorgeous days expected so uh, a lot to enjoy hope you guys get out and enjoy some fun even if you're not getting in the water to surf um may want to go down to uh real water sports and uh check out the uh, all the good stuff that over there that we have in the board law for surfboards and all of that and may want to check out like uh the foiling gear and the kiting equipment it's going to be uh, a little windy in the afternoon days so uh maybe a good chance to check out the kiting um winging and foiling well, in any case, thank you for joining me once again. And as I always do, I'd like to ask you guys to please do everything you can to help protect our coastlines from the impacts of climate change driven by fossil fuel burning, those impacts being rising sea levels, more intense storms, ocean heat waves, and ocean acidification. The primary solution to the climate crisis being the rapid deployment of clean energy clean energy being wind, water, solar, and electric vehicles as the rapidly deployable forms of clean energy. And of course, there's um, continuous innovation in clean energy technology. Uh, right here at the pier, they're testing a uh, com combined um, tidal power generation system and desalination system, which is uh, pretty awesome. So um, lots of potential uh, new technology and innovation to be had on the clean energy side and it's also uh, it also means jobs good jobs for um, you know folks here in the United States and uh, you know good uh, manufacturing jobs which really helps our uh, base economy as well as our national security posture all right so thanks for joining me once again for this session of the OBX wave report and I'll be back with you guys shortly enjoy the day